So for today, we're going to be looking at these seasonal challenges and a reverse and eight of one all in that order. So that way you guys are aware of what is up for the week. So other than that, let's get into it. Filamentary magic defeat targets with strand arc or solar supers earn bonus progress for defeating guardians. This one can go either way for a lot of classes for warlocks. I would specifically say arc is probably the best one, specifically the one, uh, the magic fingers. That one's going to be really good for Titans. I I'm a, I want to say arc specifically uh the the arc one where it's not the the missile one the other one <sighs> yeah i would probably say that one or strand strand would also be a pretty good one and hunters uh arc with the um with right right ins right ins uh something i forgot what it's called but that exotic's gonna be really good solar uh the six shot is pretty good uh just make sure that you have the the uh the thing that gives you extra bullets i forget what it's called actually let's go um this one right here well, let's let's see let's see i think i have it on my hunter right now um the embers of searing defeating scores grant no 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 well, I guess I don't have it, but it's it's one of these. I just don't remember which one it is off the top of my head. It's basically like if you kill someone that's ignited, you get an extra bullet back. And obviously, with if you're going to be using the uh, dead shot, it's a uh, causing solar ignitions while your super is active refunds a golden gun round. So you're definitely going to want that. Um, really long way to just say, just make sure you have that thing on. Uh, ponderous orbs generate orbs of power and find any hidden chest with within Savathun's spire. Uh, precision pair of physics defeat targets with bow or hand hand cannons earn bonus progress by defeating guardians or by defeating combatants in season of the witch activities. Not hard at all. Just uh, kill stuff with a bow or a hand cannon. Punch drunk get powered melee final blows and ritual playlist. This one I would I would suggest hunter arc with uh, liar's handshake and uh ga gambler's dodge that's going to be the easiest one because if you're killing every time with your melee then you're going to be getting your your melee back all the time and you can really milk this for a lot i'm pretty sure hunt titan the uh these the melee that hit like <sighs> Either way, this is going to be super easy for a lot of the classes. Uh, Flourish of Power, Defeat Guardians in Mayhem Playlist with Super Abilities. This one's not going to be hard, just kind of annoying. Boss Battle, Defeat Bosses in Strikes or Vanguard Playlist. Not hard at all. Kinetic Forces get Final Blows with Kinetic Weapons. Bonus Progress for Defeating Guardians. Okay, so a lot of these are not hard. Um, just annoying, which is not that crazy. I mean, this one, the fact that it... it gave you mayhem instead of uh iron banner is really weird i think there's an iron banner still it's still up no let me see uh oh no no never mind either way iron banner is up as well so if you guys are interested in doing iron banner definitely go talk to saladin but for eververse we have a lot of boring stuff in my opinion we have argent territory unfortunately this baby got neutered hard because back in the day it actually shadered really well a lot of the red you actually did not see so unfortunately yeah this shader is you guys can definitely check out the video that i made for argent territory because again once upon a time this was one of the best shaders if you wanted to combine all of the armor pieces into one cohesive look we have whispered sheen which i also made a review for this one you guys can check it out i like the shader but I don't know man i think it's the off color and i don't like i like it a lot but the off color is definitely weird we have uh resurrected shadow and then callous promise which is a pretty cool army it's basically the uh callous themed one and then uh turn the tables <gasps> Funnily enough, that's our second one that you like turn a table. Uh, anomalous domain for deterministic chaos. I'm not the biggest fan of it because it's a shader change and not a good one at that. Like red with purple, not the biggest fan of. Um, Serpent's Reach. Not a fan of this one. I mean, it looks cool, but like why? We have a 
Heliotropium. Damn, this one looks cool. Um, we have Desecrated Shell. Damn, this one looks cool. We have li Live Disco Dance. We have Risky Archer. Yeah. And for the shaders, we have Seven Sisters, which is a pretty good shader if you want to go for like a star looking thing, specifically because the blue is like a, like a sky. So that's pretty cool. We have Oiled Gunmetal, which is a great shader if you want to have like this uh, holographic look on your plate armor. Not so much for cloth armor, though, but on plate armor, it looks really, really cool and weapons as well. We have Bloody Tooth, which is a pretty good black and red shader. That being said, I'm not the biggest fan of the red. Um, I like embedded. I like um, I like a much brighter red than this one. And then Smashing Success, which reminds me of the Joker, which is why I'm not the biggest fan of it. So that's pretty much it for Ada. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. As for 801, wait, did I say Eververse? Or it don't matter. We have Sato Tribe, one of the best, if not the best shader in the game. Personally, I love this shader. This is like easily one of the best shaders from Season of the Forge. And this is the better shader from the Rasmussen one and the other one. They're both, both of those are trash compared to this one because there's no yellow. We have the Mad Monk, which I've said before in the past that this is a great shader if you want to have black cloaks. Um, just make sure that the black or the cloak is all one cohesive color because then you have situations like this. But this still looks really, really cool. And it does have like a um, carbon fiber look to it, which is pretty cool. And then we have Dead Orbit's Fate, which is a pretty good black and white shader. At least I think so. Definitely a really cool black and white shader. Just be aware that the air is, there is white in there and the glow is white as well. And then for the armor sets, it's going to be the like class specific uh, like celebration sets that you guys that we got for vanilla destiny 2. I definitely think some of these pieces are worth it. Titans definitely have the better pieces and then the hunt or warlocks have the worst pieces. But I will say for the let me actually do this real quick because I don't remember the warlocks because I actually hate it. It's actually really terrible. Um, okay, here it is. So let's start off with hunters. Hunters, I think the helmet is usable, even though a lot of the pieces don't change color. The arms are interesting. The chest piece you can definitely use, the boots you can definitely use, and the cloak you can definitely ignore. Titans, I think. The boots are really cool. The arms are really cool. The helmet, unfortunately, the visor doesn't change color, but it does. It is really cool. And the chest piece, I think, is the only weak part. And I think the mark can definitely be used as well. For the warlocks, helmet is probably the only piece that I can say is pretty cool. Other than that, I don't like the arms. I don't like the chest piece. I don't like the bond and the boots. I'm not the biggest fan of it as well. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I personally would say just pick it all up if you don't have it but at the same time you can definitely skip out on the warlocks you can definitely skip out on some pieces for the titans and hunters but if you want to get all the pieces i would just say just get it all because you might never know when it you might need it but that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming up to this point be safe i will see you guys later